Hey guys, it's Alex over at Laser Everything, and I have a question for you. Do you ever feel like your regular old laser setting isn't quite cutting it, and you want to try something new and exciting to freshen up your laser engraving? If so, annealing steel might be for you. Uh, stick around because we're going to talk about how and why to engrave your steel, potential benefits from doing so, and settings, and a whole lot more right after this. So hang tight and uh, get ready to learn because we're going to get after it today. So today our laser engraving escapades are going to start right here with this gigantic steel trowel. Uh, this is a great example on how to do annealing because we have a huge surface area to work with uh, and lots of text to do and it's really going to shine when it's done. Uh, so you know what we got to do. First things first, uh, we have to hop over to EasyCAD and get some kind of outline so that we can line this thing up and get it looking nice and straight. So let's hop over to EasyCAD and we'll come back to this in a minute. All right, guys, so here we are in EasyCAD, and I'm going to go ahead and paste in our artwork for the day. Um, I have some text here. This is what we actually need to engrave on the trowel. Uh, so we're just going to group that and attach it, and we'll come back to that in a few minutes. I'm going to cut it for now. And this is just an arbitrarily sized box here, um, and we're going to light this up and go take a look at it on the laser and see what we can do about uh, matching these corners up maybe to different points on the trowel in order to make sure things are centered. Um, I'm also going to just go for the classic vertical line here uh, because that always helps us too so I'm going to go ahead and just drop that in and uh, with that done we are all set we can uh, hop back over to the laser uh, after lighting this and try to line things up so here we are guys we've got our box and we've got our vertical line uh, so we're just going to get this into position here and try to find a place where this makes sense um, we have a couple things we can go by so on the trowel we've got this line down the center where the two different grains cross paths uh, we also have these two points here so we can judge how close or far away we are from these two points uh, we have this text down here and we have this arrow that comes together which should line up with our line so if we just go ahead and just try to get all of these things uh, generally straight and even with each other we should end up with a nice centered and straight engraving and uh, I'm, I'm liking how that looks right there i just wanted to take you off the tripod for a minute so you could see like right down the barrel of this thing that's looking really really straight we've got equal spacing between the corner and the edge here and the corner and the edge here we're running right down that center line and it's meeting right up with this point down here so now we know where we are at uh, we know where we can kind of position things to get the engraving that we want so we can jump back over to EasyCAD and drop our artwork back in so now that we are all lit up and centered we can go ahead and um, get rid of at least the vertical line we'll just get rid of that for now and we'll paste our artwork back in and uh, I want this to be pretty low um, I, I like how it looks a little bit you know bottom weighted that's already the heavier part of the trowel uh, so we can just go ahead and actually we'll with this selected we'll shift and select the uh, outline box and we can do modify align and vertical center and that's going to just snap that to the center of the box uh, so i like this positioning we can now delete our outline and we can talk about our hatch settings um, all of our hatch settings today are going to be using the standard Munro laser opposing 45s, uh, so 45 degrees and negative 45 degrees, and the standard line distance of 0.025 millimeters. Uh, with that done, we can talk about our settings. Now, anneals work well enough on their own, uh, but for especially textured metal like this, I prefer to lay down a base coat, if you will, of uh, you know a standard setting so we're gonna just hop into our parameter library here and grab our steel general setting uh, which is 508 speed 100 power which again is outdated much like that brass you should never run your uh, laser at 100% power so we're gonna go ahead and cap that at 90 and a frequency of 25 and I'm just gonna go ahead and save over our old steel general setting here so that we don't run power 100 by accident in the future uh, so with our 508, 90, 25, we're ready to just lay down a basic uh, kind of like primer pass 
uh, so that our anneal has a nice clean surface to uh, do its thing on. So um, with that, we'll just light this up one last time and check and make sure everything looks good. So I like the size here. I like the location. I like where it's landing. So we can go ahead and just run our steel general pass right now to get this surface prepped for, uh, for our anneal. With that done, we can come over here and take a look. And uh, I'm seeing a lot of brown, right guys? This isn't looking super amazing. I mean, it's fine. If we oiled this up, it would be fine, but we don't want fine. We want freaking awesome. So uh, we're gonna jump back over into EasyCAD right now and we're gonna talk about getting this thing annealed. So we're back in EasyCAD for the last time today and we're gonna come back to our parameter library. We're not moving the part, uh, we're not moving the graphics. We're just coming back into the parameter library. We're going to select anneal. Uh, so anneal, we've got a speed of 330, a power of 30, and a frequency of 190. Now, I've tried this many ways to try to get that frequency requirement down so that people with uh, 50 kilohertz lasers or 100 kilohertz lasers can run this mark. Uh, and I, I just can't find a way to do it. I, I haven't messed around with it for that long, if I'm being completely fair, uh, but a good while. Um, and it's just, this is a high frequency mark. So unfortunately you will have to have the ability to do 150 to 250 uh, kilohertz on your frequency in order to pull this off. Uh, I like 190 the best. So we've got 190 set right there and uh, we are ready to go. We don't need to make any changes to our hatch setting. We're not moving the graphics. We're not moving the parts. So. Um, we'll just go ahead and hit mark and run this right now. done that's about it uh, I don't know about you but I think this looks significantly better than just the raw uh, steel engraving um, so why would you ever want to do an anneal like this well uh, for one it protects against corrosion in my opinion it's the next best thing uh, if you can't blue your steel uh, like a firearm then you certainly should be annealing it um, annealing it reseals that engraving after it's done protects it against rust and corrosion. Um, it also looks freaking gorgeous. Look at it, uh, it's it's amazing. Um, when should you be annealing? Uh, I do it all the time, unless the customer explicitly asks me for just like a raw engraving. Um, you guys have already seen the video that we've done on the Z-Mark uh, and doing black mark on steel. Uh, so that would be the exception. I would never anneal over a black mark. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, but if I'm ever engraving steel and removing material from it, I always try to do an anneal afterwards. Uh, it comes out better, protects the metal for longer, and you just can't beat this look. We'll go ahead and move it here so that uh, I can just give you guys an idea of uh, what we get when we do this. I mean, look at this, guys. Come on. How cool is that? You get like a pearlescent shine. It's got blues in there. Uh, this is just like a killer mark. Uh, and most of my customers who have steel engraved get this treatment. So from here, you could just wipe this off with a microfiber cloth and call it a day. But in classic Monroe laser style, I do like to apply a little three in one oil just to further protect the metal and give it like a nice, a little more muted and subtle look. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just take our toothbrush because we are working with a, uh, a brushed metal here and we're just going to go with the grain and brush that oil in. And with the oil brushed in, uh, we're just going to grab our uh, cloth napkin here and we'll just give it a wipe down and get rid of that excess oil. Because this is a uh, brushed metal, we don't need to worry about the excess steel from the engraving scratching as we're dragging it through. So that's why we can just get away with using this with a little bit of oil. And that is looking incredible. I might just go over it one last time with a microfiber cloth to mop up anything I might've missed. 
and we're done. Let's take a closer look and really check out some of the details on this. Hey guys, that's it. It's the end of the video. If you got value out of it, please consider hitting that like button, uh, subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell notification so that you get notified the next time that we post a video. If you really loved it, consider signing up for the Patreon. We get new patrons every week and I'm so grateful for those of you who are already contributing and excited to welcome even more of you on board. Uh, the Patreon helps fund new gear and uh, the channel and uh, it allows me to take the time to make the videos more than anything else. Uh, so if you want to continue seeing content from the channel and you want to help out, sign up for the Patreon. Uh, I'd also encourage you to sign up for our Discord server. We've got over 40 members now. It's really, really blown up uh, and everybody's super friendly and eager to help. Uh, we post videos and photos uh, and everybody's just sharing uh, and talking about how to make each other better. And I'm really proud of what it's become in such a short amount of time. Uh, so there is a link to both of those things down in the description, as well as a bunch of other links to everything we use in the shop. So if you need to buy some new items for your shop, check out the affiliate links down below because those can really help support the channel as well. If you want me to make a video about something specific, leave a comment below. Let me know what you want to see. I'm happy to take requests and I really just want to help you guys out. So uh, if you're looking for something specific, comment down below. Let me know. I'm really wanting to hear about it. That's it, guys. That's all I've got. So I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and we'll catch you next time.